What is accessibility? Imagine you had a visual impairment and were unable to read this tutorial, or if you were hearing impaired and could not hear my voice. Accessibility is how you'd still be able to access and therefore read or listen to this tutorial. Accessibility is two-sided. One, it concerns how users with disabilities get access to web or online services, and two, how developers or programmers create web pages, applications, and documents to be accessible to those users with disabilities. Many users with disabilities may use assistive technologies or assistive devices to access electronic materials. Examples of assistive technologies include screen reader software, magnification software, assistive shortcuts on keyboards, touch screens, and other devices. Why should I be concerned with accessibility? Everything on any California State University website has to be accessible. This means that documents in Bronco Scholar also have to be accessible. If you have images, equations, or other things in your thesis, paper, or project that might not be readable by a screen reader or have captions for someone who is hearing impaired, these things have to be tagged for accessibility. You might be thinking that most of your document is text. Why would you need to check for accessibility at all? True, a document consisting of mostly text will be less problematic than one with lots of images or equations. But that doesn't mean that your document is fully accessible even if it is just text. The library has over 280 PCs that you can use to work in Microsoft Word, including some in the 24-7 lab. The first step to making a document accessible is to see what issues it already has so you can determine what you need to fix. Alternative text helps people who use screen readers understand the content of images in your document by providing short descriptions of those images. Alternative text is also known as alt text. For many readers, alt text is the only information they have about the images and objects in your document, so you want to be very clear. Creating a title or heading for different sections of a document will make the document more readable by users with visual impairments. Increasing the font size or bolding the text doesn't solve this problem since screen readers don't interpret bold text or larger fonts differently than regular text. Applying styles, however, can make these headings more accessible. Headings should be used to indicate your main points or subpoints on a page. Your document should be arranged in an organized, logical, consistent order. Using headings allows a user on a screen reader to navigate through sections of your text. Make sure not to skip across the hierarchy of headings, however. This means you shouldn't go from using heading 1 to 3, or use heading 3 for your main sections, and then heading 2 for the subsections. You may also need to include mathematical equations in your document. These equations are not automatically accessible and will need to be similarly described in alternative text fields. There are a few ways of making mathematical equations accessible. You can use the Equation Editor in Microsoft Office 365 to insert equations, or you could author your document in a typesetting program such as LaTeX. Typesetting programs such as LaTeX often have add-on modules that you can use for including alternative text fields. Tables can also be confusing to users accessing electronic tables via a screen reader. Adding alternative text to a table will provide a summary to users. Also, adding clear column headings to provide context will assist those users in navigating and understanding the table's contents. Also, you should save the document as a PDF. To save as a PDF in Adobe Acrobat Pro X, which is the version on all library computers, you can select File and click Save as PDF, which is located under the menu list. After you've edited your document in Microsoft Word and exported it to PDF, you should check it in Adobe Acrobat Pro. If you don't have access to Adobe Acrobat Pro, 
please remember that you can use any of the 280 computers at the University Library to work in Acrobat Pro. First, open your document in Acrobat Pro. Navigate to Tools and select Action Wizard. Select Make Accessible from the Action Wizard list. Then click the Start button to begin the accessibility check. A series of pop-up menus will appear including the following. Title, where you confirm that the title entered is correct and that the correct author is named. If either of these two fields are blank, check the Leave As Is box and enter the correct title or author. Next, you will receive a prompt to recognize text. Select the primary language of the document from the first option. The second two options you can leave as is. Click OK. Next, you will receive a message asking if this document includes any fillable forms. Select No, skip this step. You will receive another prompt asking for the reading language, which you should select from the drop-down. Click OK. Next, an alert will be shown, letting you know that any figures in the document will be checked for alternative text. Click OK. If any of the alternative text fields are missing, please enter the alternative texts for those and select the next arrow. After all are tagged, select Save and Close. Next, you will receive a screen to run a complete accessibility report. Make sure Attach Report to Document is checked and click Start Checking. You may encounter additional errors after running the full check. You can right-click on the errors displayed and correct them. For instance, logical reading order requires a manual check. If your document is in a logical reading order, right-click on that error and select Pass. You should also manually pass the color contrast error as long as the colors in your document are displaying properly. If you have any additional errors and are not sure how to fix them, you can right-click on the error and select Explain. This will open a new browser and explain to you how to fix the error. Once you have fixed the error, right-click on this error to check again. Save your file. This file will have the accessibility report attached to it and will be what you load to Bronco Scholar. Congratulations! Now you've learned some more about accessibility and why it's important to make your documents accessible for as many people as possible. If you'd like more information on accessibility, please visit the website http teachingcommons.cdl.edu slash access slash index dot html. This website gives more information on accessibility and is from the CSU Chancellor's Office.